Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we're looking at the definition of discontinued operations as we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos. I'll give you the actual definition and then we'll look at some examples and see if I can't give you a little bit more insight. Discontinued operations pertain to the elimination of a significant part of a company's business, such as the sale of an entire division of the company. Eliminating a small portion of the product line does not qualify as a discontinued operation. A discontinued operations can be found on the income statement that we're we'll going to be looking at for our example, looking at Citigroup income statement, annual data here. Uh, you can find quarterly data as well. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is looking on Yahoo Finance. You can find this information anywhere. Google Finance will have it. You can also find it on your discount broker. will have the information of the income statement for your company or within the annual report. Or you can actually go to the company's website. Many times they'll have the annual reports and the income statement and so forth and so on on the website there. And you can actually just look at them there. Uh, so you can find this stuff anywhere, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And you will find at the bottom of the income statement, um, beneath the continuing operations section, you will find in the extraordinary uh, section, you will find discontinued operations. And most of the time, you'll get nothing will be listed there. Right now, you can see that we have 112, uh, and basically, this is in uh, thousands, so 112,000 multiplied by 1,112 million, actually, we're looking at here. And this can be a positive or a negative number. You can see here it's a positive number, and right next to that, it's a negative number. And this will typically happen when companies are restructuring. Then they'll be shutting down entire uh, divisions of their company, or if they have perhaps uh, a merger happens, then you would actually see, you know, they merge and they say, okay, well, we don't need this extra little piece over here to shut that part down. But that's when you start seeing that. You won't typically see discontinued operations and extraordinary items together. It's it would be very, very rare. Um, just they're, they're that rare that's going to happen. So uh, this is something that's going to be, again, uh, below the continuing operations, which means it's not a core part of the actual business. And they're trying to alert investors to that. When you're looking at the income statement, you always want to note that anything above the operating income line uh, right here is going to be the core business. Uh, anything below that are the things that are um, not really related to the core business. They're just a byproduct of the business itself. And something's going on and this happened. Uh, they want to alert you to that so that when you're looking at situations where you're looking at the net income, if the net income is substantially altered by some discontinued operations of that nature, you need to know that. You need to be able to look at that and say, wait a minute, that's not something that's going to be recurring or it shouldn't be. And it's going to be considered extraordinary, not something that we're going to be counting on for those earnings to look like that into the future. That can happen the same way with massive losses. You could say, okay, wait a minute, they had massive losses on the net income due to this uh, discontinued operations loss that will not be expected to continue. So now you know. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.